question because I'm starting recording at 2140. I mean, sorry, 940. And uh, the, the internet here is a little so, so I'll be recording this and within 10 minutes I'll be uploading it. This is why we are also slightly starting late because my flight landed here at around 8 in the evening and you know like I had to get in, get into it from Bangalore airport at around 6 o'clock and I landed in Calicut at around 8 and you know the story but let's get to market analysis right because that's important. <laughs> so see the most important chart I have to show is that of Nifty. So of course today's FOMC event and anybody who is uh, Trade, having open positions uh, for today um, has a gambling problem and needs psychiatric help including me uh, <laughs> but uh, you can see this today it's a perfect indecision doji candle but i want to highlight one thing this is a bearish engulfing candle which was formed on uh, 9th of december right and the stop loss for that bearish engulfing if you're shorting that bearish engulfing is around 18660 today close is above the open of the previous bearish engulfing this is a usually this means that there's a strong possibility that this stop loss is going to be taken out this bearish engulfing is going to be toasted and the market is likely to go up right now if you look at bank nifty again today is a doji but today is all-time high close both of these are very strong signs of bullishness right so for me the charts are looking bullish despite the indecision candle because it is close to the stop loss here and it is an all-time high close for bank nifty both of them are very strong closings right now if i look to open interest data this is very suggestive of bullishness for me obviously because look at this right 18650 has 3.6 million puts sold and there is call unwinding at lower levels there is hardly any call addition at upper levels uh, but overall very little action some upper wale calls have been sold but net net the option chain is now having a very mildly bullish tone because around the atm if you look at it 18600 and 18650 are both very fresh put writing right whereas this 18700 you are seeing here is very old call so we know from our analysis usually that recent puts have higher weightage recent option writing has higher weightage than old option writing so net net this is looking very strong for me pcr is 0 0.9 uh, which is mildly bullish so chart is bullish o open interest is bullish now let me go to fia di data which is where everything gets toasted right fia sold 70k calls and bought 25k puts this is mixed and they sold 700 crore futures mixed so fia is negative this is irrelevant this 372 crores so net net right my problem is chart is looking okay uh, option chain is looking okay PCR is looking slightly bullish FIA data is mixed but we have to remember that tomorrow is the expiry and after tomorrow this FIA data is going away this option chain is also going away the only truth which remains after tomorrow's day and close is a chart right so option chain you can ignore after tomorrow because whatever is there we are seeing for this week and this week's expiry is tomorrow FIA data will also change once the uh, option expiry happens tomorrow right because we have seen that after every expiry or everything is null and void right so this might also change color so today's analysis i am not doing today's analysis for tomorrow because tomorrow is an event and nobody knows what to do but i am doing today's analysis for tomorrow post event market price action and for that the only reality is charts and the charts are still looking strong so as long as nifty is holding 18600 level I would look to definitely, definitely long nifty, but I won't do tomorrow's expiry. I will try to take uh, uh, trades for next expiry through spreads, either a bull put spread or bull call spread, right? And now let's look at USDNR. USDNR mixed reactions. Today it fell quite a bit. Uh, from the daily chart, at least it was looking like that, but um, net net. So the thing is this, right? I don't want to trade this. I mean, I kind of know that this is in an upward trending channel, but I'm avoiding trading USDNR simply because of the kind of volatility we are seeing. Nifty and Bank Nifty are much more easier to trade for a trend follower than USDNR. So I'll pass USDNR, especially given the event risk of Federal Reserve's interest rate hike. Because dollar directly takes its value from this interest rate hike, right? Um, so we are done with Nifty, we are done with Bank Nifty, we are done with dollar rupee. We are done with uh, uh, the, the verdict for tomorrow and what trades to take for tomorrow. We are not going to take anything which is expiring tomorrow unless you want to play with fire, of course. Uh, but if there's a tomorrow, it's a trended day, there's no 
I mean, if there's a trend at bullish day, there's no harm in selling Nietzsche ka puts, of course, but you know, that's a different story. Um, and this is FIDI date. Of course, we looked at it, right? So this concludes our analysis for today. We'll uh, see you again tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow I might not be live because, uh, you know, I came to Kerala for a wedding. So probably, uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be live tomorrow, but it's okay. Anyway, our tomorrow, today's uh, analysis is only for tomorrow's trades. Uh, and tomorrow anyway option chain is relevant because it's expiry day so look at the chart the charts are long term bullish as long as 18600 holds nifty is likely to go up if it does not hold we'll see what happens then right so as of now our view for the last day, few days have been intact it is not going to break 18 uh, uh, 500 400 levels we'll continue with that view right now our support is at 18600 and we'll see what happens right so this concludes our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow as usual this is not tips advice analysis or i mean sorry recommendation investment advice any of that just this is just pure analysis so that you can understand the technical setup of the market so that you can make your own decisions right and as usual please don't take take a trade if you don't have a strong view please don't gamble on an event unnecessarily market is always there it will give you plenty of chances the important thing is to not lose money on small trades and conserve it all for the good trade so that you make a killing when a good opportunity comes right so on that note i'll take your leave thanks guys for joining may that uh, tomorrow's fmc edition turn out good for everybody uh, all right take care good night